Welcome to our lecture online and now we're going to take a look at the circle in a general form. So what is a circle? Well the circle is a set of all the points in a plane that are equidistant, meaning the same distance from a fixed point which is the center of the circle. So here we have the center of the circle and any points on this line right here is the same distance away from the center, so that makes that a circle. Here again, here's the center of the circle, and every point on the line is the same distance away from that center, so therefore that makes this a circle. So a circle can be drawn in such a way where the center is at the origin. If it is, then the equation reads x squared plus y squared equals r squared. The necessity is that the coefficient in front of the x and the y must be the same, and preferably it should be a 1, and so now this is some sort of constant. And you can see that it's the radius of the circle squared that goes right there. But if the center of the circle is not at the origin, but at some other location, let's say h, k, h would be the x coordinate of that center, and k would be the y coordinate of the center. Again, since every point is equidistant away from that, from that center point right there, or every point on the circle, I should say, is the equidistance away from the center of the circle. We can then write x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So that's the same equation as over here, except where the center of the circle is not at the origin. Again, notice that the coefficient in front of the x and in front of the y must be the same, preferably a 1, so that we have this nice equation or nice formula or form of the formula right there. So that's the basics about the circle. We'll now show you a few examples. Circles are fairly straightforward and easy, but again, nothing like a few examples to get more of an understanding of what circles really are. So in the next videos, I'll show you how to do some examples on the circle.